Hello, so welcome back. It's good to have you. This is the second installment discussing the metabolism. Uh, you know, in particular, we talked about Sanjiao theory. Perhaps you recall what we were talking about from the last uh, time we did this a couple of weeks back. Amanda, was that like a month ago or a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it was a few weeks ago. All right, so we have this idea of San Jiao. San means three and Jiao means burner. So there's these three different areas in the body uh, where metabolism really occurs and many organs are involved as we discussed last time. Please watch that one to understand the bigger philosophy of it and understanding. However, we have the middle burner and I wanted to talk at length about that, which is a very important. It is not the only aspect of the middle uh, of the digestive process, but the middle burner is very important, this theory of the burner system. Basically, you would put food into a cauldron, so to speak, and it's known as the cauldron. And when you put food into the cauldron, um, it begins to cook. So that's the stomach's purpose, is to break this down. So the stomach is considered the cauldron uh, in this theory. And then you would have the burner upon which the cauldron is placed, and that would be the spleen and the pancreas. Very important for overall function. And they do many things, but one of them is to make it so that the food that is put into the stomach can be broken down easily, transformed into usable materials, and then transported throughout the body. So these are very important systems. The spleen sits on the side of uh, the left side. Um, if you're facing somebody, it would be over on this side of the stomach, and the pancreas is just behind that. They're connected, actually, one uh, functioning system and unit. Then, at the root of all this, you would have the pilot light, which would be the kidney, and we could say the adrenal gland. So you can see that the kidney and adrenal is very important because on a stove, if you don't have a pilot light, you don't have a fire. If you don't have a fire, you don't have a warm cauldron. If you don't have a warm cauldron, nothing's getting cooked. So you can see the importance of these different systems in the body. And uh, just think of it this way. Anything that you consume has to be at 98.6 degrees or higher in order to be used. Because that's how warm your body generally is. So it's not usable until it gets to that point. So you want to put things into this cauldron, so to speak, that are very easy to digest. And uh, then we have this all working, and your body will have a good balance of fats and uh, you know, also muscle tissue and so on, which is the healthy optimum that you would have if the three burners were functioning well. If you have any questions you want to ask about what foods are best and things of that nature for your specific body type, you can go to the newsletter section on our website. So you can go to milwaukeeacu.com and go to the newsletter section and learn about that. There's also a lot of great blog posts you know, with recipes and things of that nature, and then you can always email me. So that's curry at milwaukeeacu.com. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. Over and out.